Okay, we're going to be having a look at the Merg ATC module of Gordon Hopkins. Uh, this is the original article from the uh, from the Merg journal. That servo is uh, connected to the module and is intended to drive a uh, signal. There's the module itself, um, and I'm powering it from uh, bench supply. The 9 volt side is uh, running the uh, logic side of the board, and the 15 volt is running the traction side of the board. Um, the sequence that you'll get when you power it on is uh, that it'll wait a while, then the relays will fire, then the servo will move as it just did, and a little while later the uh, locomotive will move past, and um, it'll accelerate using pulse width modulation and run at its maximum speed that's set up near the 317, and then it'll decelerate down the other side uh, in the second end section, and the lights indicate what's going on and then the servos move back to change the signal back to its original position. Um, how long it sits at one end is controlled by a pot on the board for the dwell. The board I've got here is a little bit uh, different than the standard kit build. Um, I've put a larger um, capacitor on the output side of the uh, traction regulator. I've put input capacitors on the uh, input side of both uh, regulators and I put a uh, capacitor on the output side of the 7805 regulator. The uh, limits I've set on the, the power supplies uh, don't matter at all because as you can see the, the current on the um, two sides is trivial. The loco is just fired up so we'll see what it does running through the middle. And yeah, it's, it's very much tiny yawn level um, current consumption. Um, this one's meant for uh, O-Gauge, and um, yeah, thanks for focusing. Uh, this one's meant for O-Gauge, it's going to run a, um, an exhibition layout shuttle um, all day for a couple of days on, uh, at, a, at the Brisbane Model Train Show. Uh, so I put a larger heat sink on the 317 because I'm expecting there to be uh, significantly more current there. Uh, albeit that the regulator won't be dropping as much voltage, so I may still have got away with um, the same sized uh, heatsink as the original kit had. Either way, I do like the um, improved um, uh, capacitance on the regulator. As you saw, the servo went, so we'll see the, the little terrier come flying past in a sec uh, at the speed of a startled gazelle. And there she goes. And the lights will change, the red light to indicate we've got down into the uh, end section and the servos just changed back. Uh, thanks for watching, hope it was of some use to you.